This video is brought to you by my friends at Mantis Sleep. You can get your Mantis Sleep sleep mask today by using my promo code JKBogan right on their website. Link is in the description. It'll get you 10% off. And there's so many masks to choose from, from Silk to their regular pro mask, their mask that literally connects to your phone so you can listen to podcasts and music while you doze off. They got weighted masks, heat masks, cooling masks, you can get it all on manasleep.com using promo code JKBogan. And once again, it'll get you 10% off. And let's get this show started. So, folks, I am back here. And the reason being is we finally got some information. This is an update on Tredavious White's contract. Now, initially, it was reported as if he was going to make around $8 million this year uh, with a incentive to get up to $10 million. And while that might be potentially true, Over the Cap just came out with the contractual numbers. Keep in mind, base salary here, we're talking $1.5 million in 2024. He signed a one-year deal with the Rams. The contract indicates a prorated signing bonus of $1.75 million, a per-game roster bonus of $1 million, a guaranteed salary of $1.5 million and a cap number of $3.4 million. With that said, okay, this contract does not have too much to it. The Rams could theoretically, if they decided, hey, I don't know why, but they'd just be like, hey, we don't really want Tredavis White. And they realized it after the draft. They just... Just the draft fell into our lap. We got the corners we wanted. We didn't think we were going to get them, and we're going to move on from White. Not saying they would ever do that, but if you wanted to know what that would mean, the Rams would save 235k, and they would have a 3.2 million dollar uh, bunch of dead money. Which again, kind of shows you it's really not that bad of a deal. Now, pre June first. A pre that's a um a post June first. A pre June first cut would be the same exact thing. A trade would be a little different. You'd be moving money around, all that. So what does this mean? Well, the contract notes on off uh oh excuse me, over the cap have one year four point two five million contract with the Rams. 3.25 is guaranteed, including a 1.75 million signing bonus. They're up to 1 million in per game bonuses. The contract value increases to 8.5 million if White plays in 60% of the Rams' defensive snaps in 2024. The contract carries a maximum contract value of $10 million. So the point behind this contract is actually pretty well structured. Because you got to give a little to get a little. And Tredavious White knew, and of course his you know, representation knew going into this, it was going to be a little bit of an uphill battle for him to get the contract that he wanted to get. Because of course we know this is a former All-Pro. However, he's also dealt with some severe injuries, a torn Achilles and a torn ACL in the last three years. So with that being said, being like that is an important thing. So with that being said, you have to be able to protect yourself. You have to have some insurance. And so giving him an incentive, right, to go from right now, this is a $4.25 million contract. It could go up by $4 million, a, a little bit over $4 million. You just have to play 60% of the defensive snaps in 2024. That's incentive. Now, it's not to say that he purposely gets hurt. That's not what I'm saying. But it shows if he stays healthy, the Rams are going to be very happy. Because if he stays healthy, he's likely going to play at a pretty good level. He's playing at a good level early last year before he got hurt. And if he's doing that, they'll be fine paying the $8.5 million and the, the 4 million increase. That's the whole point. And I love deals like this for that very reason, because I think the, the whole point of this, you know, a lot of fans will just say, Hey, I don't like how much we're paying this guy. It's not your money, right? It, it's not. But at the same time, you have an investment with this team. 
You invest your time. You invest your money, essentially. You you buy merchandise. You buy season tickets and all that. So to a degree, it is your money, right? So I do get why people complain about that. In addition, this is not baseball, okay? The NFL has a salary cap, so that does actually interfere. Now, with that being said, I like this move for that reason. I like this move for Trey uh, White. But most importantly... It's like, I like this because it helps both parties. I feel like both parties get something out of this. It's a win-win. It's not just, hey, we threw $1 million at you. You know, it, this is a win-win deal. One thing I will bring up, because I had it actually brought up to me, um, not brought up, but asked, right? I don't think that a contract like this rules out them getting another corner. And of course, you probably know what corner I'm talking about. I'm talking about Akella Witherspoon. Now, I don't think Witherspoon, who started last year 18 games for the Rams and played at a high level for, we'll say, 16 of them before he got hurt in the groin area. I don't think somebody like that wants to come in and be a backup corner. At the same time, if he doesn't, for whatever reason, have a market, which seems insane to me, but if he doesn't have a market, I could see him coming back to the Rams. We'll see. But with that said, though, this contract really doesn't kill the Rams. I think a lot of people were concerned, confused. Right now, the Rams currently have $11.5 million in cap space. Okay, And the important thing here to realize is that comes out to be $7.7 million in effective cap space, which means that that is keeping in mind the draft. And it's one thing where, you know, you have your draft picks and all that, but here's the deal. The draft picks are going to replace a lot of these guys at the bottom of the roster. So it's not going to cost that much. In addition to that, the first round pick is going to cost the most. And if the Rams, for whatever reason, don't like their options at 19, they could trade completely out of the first round. And in that case, who knows what would happen? Probably save them a lot of money. But those are my thoughts. I think Trey White is going to have a good year this year. I'm not as high on him as I was with Akella Witherspoon when they got him for a million dollars. I feel like that was one of the best deals that they've made. Um, we'll see what ends up happening. We'll see if they do end up targeting corners at any point. But I will say this before I go. For the people saying they need a corner, I'm not saying they don't. But I do think fans are discounting how much the Rams like what they invested in. They spent draft capital on Kobe Durant, on Trey Tomlinson, on Darion Kendrick. And you yourself might not like them. You yourself might say we need an upgrade. At the same time, the Rams might say, I beg to differ. Same thing goes for Edge. You yourself might not be a huge fan of what's behind Byron Young or Michael Hoyt. They might like Michael Hoyt. I mean, they clearly like him enough to bring him back. But, you know, maybe you're not a big fan of O'Shaw Mathis or Nick Hampton. The Rams brought those guys in. They spent draft capital last year on them. And let's be honest here. The Rams don't look at any pick that they make as just a throwaway. Everyone has a chance to make the roster, and we've seen that before, even ones that aren't drafted. And we've definitely seen that before. So it's something to keep in mind. But that's all I got for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, folks. Later. Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.